Hey guys, it's Sam with Geek, and uh, this is Sam with the GTA. I'm thinking I'm going to use this account for uh, some personal stuff, because, you know, not just personal stuff, just stuff not related to video games. I want to kind of keep my main channel focused on video games, because, uh, you know, I attracted those type of subscribers, and some people might not be interested in the other shit in my life, so I'll mention that in my next SR. So this channel is going to be for my other stuff, like politics. Politi <laughs> Politox, politics, and other things. Politox sounds like a good name for a video series, though. Um, so, I was, you know, a, a lot of people ask me what are my other hobbies than video games, and mostly I just tell them, oh, it's a video game channel, don't worry about it. But uh, I like reading, and uh, this is a pretty good book right here. James Patterson's First to Die. Definitely recommend this. Sorry if I sound weird and breathe hard. I have a fucking cold. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm the type that I blow my nose so much that it starts to bleed. And, uh, it kind of sucks. But for those of you who also have allergy problems or cold problems, recommend this shit. This shit will get the shit done. Alright, liquid Tylenol. Adult liquid Tylenol. Fuck that pill shit. It doesn't do as much as this. And in this acts fast. So I also draw. I'm taking an art class for college. They wanted me to do uh, still lives. I kind of suck at still lives. So I started doing uh, what I like. You know, I like doing uh, I, I like doing a lot of abstract work. So I've been trying to make some abstract still lives. So I thought I'd show some of them to you. Get some of your guys' opinions. As you can see, uh, unlike the regular still life, I didn't put too much shading but I tried to, like, you know, make it look like a still life, feel like a still life, but still, you know, maintain its abstractness. I like doing abstract and cartoon drawings. I'm not really familiar with a lot of realistic shit, so I tried to mix the two, and my teacher really liked it. And, uh, if you have any tips or, you know, anything I can improve, uh, send it my way. I, I don't really care about criticism, especially in art, because you can always learn from it. Uh, here's a, you know, simple thing. They had like a cardboard tubing, a cube, a uh, pair, and two doorknobs. And I made my own little thing out of it too. And, uh, I like this one a lot. A lot of people didn't like it. And, uh, here's a sketch for the next drawing that I'm going to show. I sketched it out and I didn't like it at first. As you can see, with charcoal, this is charcoal, all of, by the way. And, uh... With charcoal, you can't really correct stuff easily. That's what I hate about it, but that's the medium we're using. And uh, this is the, the sketch for this. These are all done in about 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, I fucked up there, so I had to smudge it out. And uh, I drew the, the proportion, the you know, placement right. And these are just green chilies on top of a cube. And uh, that's what he wanted us to draw. See, I also fucked up there. I got the uh, thing wrong, but I turned it into a shadow. And I thought that worked out fine. He has some of the weirdest objects for us to draw. He had this weird, like, wooden stand that was awkward. And it had, like, areas, like, little pillars with circles in them. So that's why I drew. He had two pairs on the top. And, uh, I think this one came out fine. I fucked up a lot on the inside, but I managed to make it look cool like a little shadow. Uh, charcoal is very messy, and it's like the basic, it's not the nice charcoal, where it's like a pencil. It's like, he makes us use like a whole charcoal stick. So, it was very difficult to do a lot of these, but I'm trying to learn the medium. Here's my own personal favorite of mine. Um, he had two, he had like a whiskey bottle, two chilies... And a little other vial bottle. And he wanted us to do it. And this is what I did. Um, this one. I, I uh, fucked up at the beginning. But I managed to turn the sketch into a. I managed to turn the sketch into shadow. I really liked how I did that. I also. Uh, tried to darken the lines. Of the bottle. So it looked kind of. Give it like a glassy effect. I think it turned out alright. Um, I'd like your guys' opinions. This is also a good one. Um, 
this one didn't have many fuck ups, but the reason I think it's fucked up is because I took the assignment wrong. You see, I we were only supposed to draw from up from here, but I did the whole picture, and uh, I like it though. I like the shadowing I did. It's actually the best shading I think I've ever done. Um, give your opinions again. Uh, and one this flip camera, it's kind of weird. See the shading there, I like that too. Um, I thought I'd let you guys know this is some of the stuff I'm into. I'm also into uh, writing poetry, but I suck balls at it. And uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, a Republican that likes art and does drawings and stuff. I know it's a rarity, but they're out there. <laughs> Used to dwell into calligraphy with really basic art stuff. That's why I have all the fucking Japanese symbols and shit. I'm not a weeaboo or anything. Like people used to think, but that that's where all that came from. Uh, I used to be really into Chinese, you know, lettering. Cause it just fascinates me, and I just couldn't imagine riding it every day. So, uh, that's where all that came from. A lot of people have been interested in that for years. Yeah, I've never told them anything why that's up there. And that metal cross is just something my grandpa gave me before he died. So that's what that's there for. I'm not ultra-religious. In fact, uh... I'm what you call a D. I I'm, I'm 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 a deist or what people commonly refer to as agnostic. I just don't believe we know shit, and I think that's the truth. You know, we don't just, we don't know what's gonna happen. So uh, that's all it is. Sam out. <laughs>